what is the golden ratio and how can we use it in photography? The golden ratio is a mathematical ratio equivalent to 1.618 and apparently it's found everywhere in nature, in architecture, in art and even photography. Apparently your body should adhere to the golden ratio. Your body, your legs, your face, even your arms. And if I pull my arm out, my humerus bone, if I could consider that one, uh, my forearm is 1.618 and so my hand is one. So my hand is the same ratio to my forearm that is to my humerus, apparently. And if you're the sort of person that has a, all of their body in a ratio of 1.618, then you're likely to be the most fit and attractive person on earth, and especially if your face is like that. Unfortunately, my body doesn't conform to that ratio, so I'm not quite like that. And that's why the, uh, there's an element of doubt of this, but it definitely, definitely sounds appealing. By the way, if you're enjoying this video and you do watch my content on YouTube, well, why not subscribe to the channel? It would make a difference. I know all YouTubers ask for a subscription, but it really, really does help and it really does make a difference to all of us. So if you don't mind, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, you just have to click down there and you're in and that would be fantastic if you did. Thank you. As interesting or alluring as all this is, how is this related to photography? I can hear you saying. If you plot the golden ratio on a graph, you get the spiral. And that spiral is a thing that everyone compares to things in nature. And you can use that spiral to aid your composition of your photo. And the idea is that you put that spiral uh, as an overlay before you take your image and you place your subject or the point of interest in the center of that spiral. And that's supposed to give you the most pleasing and the most balanced image. In addition to the spiral, you also get a grid much similar to the rule of thirds grids. And you can use both the spiral and the grid as compositional aids. We want our viewer to look at our image for the longest time. And that's what gives us feedback that our image is a pleasing image. And the brain works in a way that it looks at an image from left to right and it does it subconsciously and much like we read from left to right subconsciously we'll look at an image from left to right and our eyes move across the image and they they stop or they focus on the point of interest or our subject or the, the brightest part of the image and so if you imagine someone's eye moving across from left to right and they're tracing their eye across our image to the point of interest now if we use the golden ratio spiral the idea is we place points of interest or additional elements of our image along the path of that spiral and the, uh, the viewer's eyes are drawn along the path of that spiral and they land on our point of interest, our, on our subject. And then if we're lucky and if it is a pleasing image and we've done a good job, their eyes will go back round again and do exactly the same again. And the idea is that we want our viewer to spend the longest time in our image to get to, for it to be given, to be liked, to be shared, to be commented on, and not someone that swipes away from it in, within a millisecond. We want someone to linger. And that gives us that feedback that we've done a good job. And the golden ratio spiral provides us with that compositional aid that lets us place our points of interest, our additional elements on, in our image uh, along the path of that spiral. And that's where it is really powerful. I think very few of us actually use the golden ratio spiral to compose our images and trying to place elements along the spiral, along the curve of the spiral is quite a challenge. And probably like me, you use probably use the rule of thirds and I use the rule of thirds perhaps 95% in my photos and I very rarely consider the golden ratio spiral. And in this video, what I'm going to try to do is take a few photos and try to do exactly that. Try to you know, adhere to the golden ratio spiral and try and take a couple of pictures. I'm here at Lincoln's Arboretum, which is one of my favorite parks. In fact, it's quite close to where I live. And I'm going to use this Canon 100D to try to take a couple of compositions, try to take some pictures adhering to the golden ratio spiral. 
but it is going to be a challenge for me because none of my cameras has a built-in spiral on them as a composition aid. They've all got the rule of thirds, but none of them have uh, the, the spiral as, a, as an aid. And that's going to be a massive challenge. But I think having looked at this closely, I kind of know where the, the point of the spiral is. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this Canon 100D and I'm going to take you through a couple of shots. Hopefully, I can actually make it work in Lincoln's Arboretum. In this, I've got the Canon 100D and the idea is your eye go up the spiral, round the top, round here and a land on uh, this sort of hut thing here the idea is your eyes would be drawn up around this tree around these branches and down that's as good as i could do it's really difficult to take a shot using the spiral and trying to get a good shot i've changed my settings now i'm on 160 of a second f 5.6 i had to change the settings so at least you could see it so here goes here's here's this shot This is a very similar idea of your eye is going to draw up this tree over these leaves and then back the spiral is going to hit you about where this folly is in the middle of this lake. That's kind of the idea. Once again, it, it is a bit of a, a, a push because, of course, it's yeah trying to get all these in at the, at the right places isn't easy. And I'm not sure if it's going to be quite as good as I think it's going to be, but at least it gives us a, an idea of, of what this spiral looks like and how you can place your 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 subject even without the spiral on the screen i know i can if i get my subject around about that position there then that'll be that'll be as per the center of the spiral so i'm just going to um get the exposure right here it's a really quite um really quite bright to be honest there's a there's people in and out of the scene but i'll go with that i've got 100 for a second f5.6 i'll just try that now just give that a try see what that looks like and that looks exposed reasonably well exposed that's that's all right and what, let's have a look at that when i get it home that's my first couple of pictures taken with the canon 100d and i'll be honest it's really not easy to try to find a composition that adheres to or fits the golden ratio spiral and I'm going to be a little bit ungracious here and say that many of the websites and the YouTube videos that you might watch probably have taken the shot and then try to fit the ratio into one of those shots to give you an example because I've found just walking around this arboretum that there's not many compositions that actually work and that's your challenge really your challenge is to is to try this and to try to use the spiral to you know compose your image and I guess if you can get that technique and nail it, then you, you're going to be a winner. Your photos are going to be really good. Well, that's my view of the golden ratio and how we use it in photography. And I've used the Canon 100D to illustrate my photos, or at least trying to take these images. And more about this camera on another video. I hope you've enjoyed it and found this video informative. I hope it's been useful to you if you want to understand a little bit more about the golden ratio. And if you obviously enjoyed this video, why not give it a like? That would be really, really good. And thank you very much indeed for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.